An uh, interesting thing about that, well, Rembrandt's getting to show off how, how good he is at portrait. So we have several doctors here, people studying um, um, this anatomy figure. Um, and they all have different characteristics. They all have different expressions. They're different angles. And they move through depth. So they're not all on the same plane. And Rembrandt is, in a way, kind of showing off how 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 easily it is for him to do it. It's also interesting statement about the time where they were interested in medicine, they were interested in discovery, they didn't have apparently a religious problem with a corpse and dissecting it. Um, they, they look scientific, they're really curious to see how it's going. And then we also have Rembrandt as the artist, as the observer, um, recreating it with a kind of fascination and and painting a dead body, and this is for science and knowledge, and, and putting that together. Um, there is also an element this, that this was a commissioned portrait by the Society of uh, Doctors. Um, and so it, it's combining a couple things. It's combining this interest in science, it's uh, the commerce, that Rembrandt is a hired portrait painter for this thing. And then his uh, mastery of light and his interest in anatomy, um, it's all kind of coming together. Um, the commercial aspects, uh, in Rembrandt's career we have some, he spent a lot of time doing self-portraits which had no commercial aspects at all. They're just for him painting and discovering painting. And he has some paintings of family members and things where they're just his own thing. But what was making him money was the doing the commission works. And he became, I think, the highest paid painter in, uh, in Holland at the time. Um, but then later in his life, he wasn't interested in anymore. He was making his own advancements, his own discoveries in light. They were taking him far away from anything anyone wanted to commission. So he ended up in poverty later in his life. So. It's an interesting thing, and the um, uh, one of the consequences, though, is that contemporary contemporary painters tend to look at old masters like Rembrandt and embrace the idea of commercial work as part of being an old master. Where I would like really like to ask Rembrandt if that's what he really wanted to do. 